Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make my portable goat house. Um, it's gonna be time lapse. Earlier, I have already gotten started. I thought I'd punch record earlier, and I forgot to hit record. So, anyways, what I've already done, I've already traced out this hoop, and I'm cutting the metal right now, and uh, then eventually I'm just gonna screw it to it. But, anyways, I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I guess some of y'all are wondering where I got these hoops at. These hoops come from an Amish guy that builds uh, greenhouses. And I got these from him because they were just sitting around. Someone had ordered them and didn't come and pick them up. The person that ordered them was going to build a some type of covered wagon for his trailer or something. I don't know. But anyways, they sat there for several months and I just, you know, asked if he wanted to sell them. And he said, sure, got a good deal. So now you can see I'm repeating the process on the opposite side. I know one thing. If I ever have a chance to buy a electric shears, uh, I'm going to buy them. Because this right here is freaking miserable, cutting them by hand. And that's all I can tell you, it's just miserable. <laughs>
portable goat house. Uh, later I'm going to make me some um, wheels that will just slide into the end of this uh, pole here on both sides. And then I'll go over here and I'll make a um, some type of hitch. I'll hook up to the um, to the uh, four wheeler or ATV and pull it to the next field. And so I'm gonna make um, some stands here. I'm gonna make about four of them, and they're gonna extend probably about pretty much all the way across on both sides. And I just so the goats can jump up there and get out of each other's space. There's a certain square footage each goat has to have so they won't headbutt each other. Anyways, that's it and thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Thank you.